Hi there folks, welcome back to Solar City Garage. Well, today's the day I'm going to get brave and I'm going to turn the motor upside down here and I'm going to go down through that lifter bore down into the valve guide try to get those two in line. Okay, So I am going to put a little, well it's made by tap magic, but some cutting fluid. I'm going to lubricate the drill bit up here on the shank and down where I'm cutting. So we're going to put some up on the shank too. And you know what? We're just going to do it. We're going to try to hold the drill as balanced as possible. Okay. Turn the drill this way. Let's put a little more cutting fluid in there. Now I'm just letting the weight of the drill. A little bit of pressure. Okay, little more cutting fluid. We're going super slow here. Here we go. Okay, need a little more oil on the shank, let that run down, a little more cutting oil. We're just going real slow here. Chuck loosened up. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Here we go. Little more cutting fluid. Little more. Oops. What I figured we were getting close.
So the good thing is, if the lifter bore is true, then that valve hole should be right in the middle. What do you think? <clears throat> Let's, uh, I'm going to grab a vacuum cleaner. Now you'll notice that most of these are not in the exact center of this little casting nub, okay? This one's this way, this one's this way, this one's this way, so. Let's uh, turn it over. See what it looks like from the top. Everybody's got their fingers crossed. bring you over to take a look see but to me it looks pretty darn good I'm gonna run the drill down this way so we just used that drill bit that was a Milwaukee brand drill bit so not a precision one but I want to check to see because we didn't remove anything from the lifter hole okay that was you see how this bit this is another bit I bought this is a high-speed steel bit from Shars. But you see how the flutes go all the way down towards the end of the shank. So I didn't want to use that one because where the flutes are doesn't want to act as a guide. In fact, it could remove some material. So that's why I bought that Milwaukee bit because the flutes started way down here. So, but this is more of a machined bit. It's made of high-speed steel. It's more precision. That's the word I was looking for. So if we've done everything correctly, and my theory is right that everything should be in alignment, which you would think it'd be close anyway, um, this should just push down through the hole. Granted, there might be some crud in there, but this is through the valve. So let's see how we did. So See here, if I let go of it, even up here where the flute is a little tighter, right there, it's a pretty accurate fit. So you see, you can pull it right straight through. So flute, where the flutes are, of course, it's going to go easier. But you see, right there, they line up. So, next thing to do is to ream this out or make sure it's smooth inside. It might be smooth enough. Sometimes a little rough gives you a little better fit. Sometimes it makes it worse. Depends on the day. So as you can see, because I haven't cleaned out the hole. There we go. You can see it just goes right through. Okay. So, I think we've done that bush fix part of it. So I'm going to put this bit, it's never been used, back in its holder. So next I'll get set up, I'll see how, if the hole needs to be cleaned up, and we'll machine down that uh, guide material, see if we can get it pressed in there. Alright, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.